What's up? This is Zach with the Quest for Greatness. And that's a lot of snow. This whole channel is about my quest, my journey, in hopes of inspiring you, in hopes of bringing you along, and self improvement, self or being honest and self aware. And uh, hopefully you're going to start your own journey. Yeah, I've been walking uphill in the snow. That's why I'm out of breath. But uh, anyway, if you want to come along for the journey, if you want to start your own, if you want to learn, if this inspires you, moves you, empowers you at all, then uh, consider liking, consider subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. This video is about owning it. As I follow up to that last one where I tried to to own it as best I could, didn't go into great detail, but certainly was scared to death to put that out there. You don't necessarily have to go that route or go my route, but uh, uh, it's just that simple to own your life, take responsibility for it, stop looking for other people to blame, stop playing and being the victim, blaming somebody else. It's like a sport in our country now. Uh, who can be the biggest victim, who can get there the fastest, whatever the case, you own and take responsibility for who you are, good and bad. overcome your fear of being judged I know it happens I'm a Christian some of my worst judgments come from other Christian people and that's just because we're humans we make mistakes we mess up you worry about what people are gonna think if you're like me you worry maybe a little more than most people about what other people are gonna think you're gonna have to and I'm gonna have to overcome that fear in order to be honest and take a long look at myself and take responsibility doesn't necessarily mean that uh, once again that you're going to have to share it with everybody or put it on public display in order to climb the mountain you and i have to understand what the mountain is and uh, who's responsible for getting there if i'm blaming somebody else for why i'm at the bottom i'm never going to be going anywhere i'm just going to be standing at the bottom complaining and, and crying about it and whining because i wish i was somewhere else it's not going to do any good everybody's all about owning the wins Everybody's all about owning the success. I see a lot of that, see plenty of that. With which of you are willing to own who you are in negative senses? Which of you are willing to own your failures in order to deal with them, face them head on? Most of us, again, held back by fear because we don't want to be judged, because we don't want to look bad. It's just pride, it's arrogance. I fight the same things. That's why it was such a tough release for that last video in the financial set because that pride you know we as uh i told you i'm a christian we as christians in uh church we struggle with this a whole lot we have passages like james 5 16 that tells us to confess our faults to one another so we can pray for each other because the uh the uh, prayers of a righteous person are effective it's in order to help it's in order to be honest it's in order to to confess my salvation is connected to my ability to confess in, in first john chapter 1 and verse 9 if we uh confess and essentially continue to to confess and living out that that lifestyle of admitting of, of being honest then our uh, father is faithful and just to cleanse us of all unrighteousness he will forgive us in fact he keeps on justifying he keeps on forgiving if i keep on confessing not easily done that's why one of the hardest verses is in Matthew 16, 24, maybe one of the most popular where Jesus is talking about people that are going to follow him, that are going to come after him. Well, the first thing they're going to have to do is deny themselves and then take up their cross. Deny you. That's one of the hardest things to do. Deny your fears. Deny what you think and then suffer for it. Now, all that said, sometimes the honesty and owning it brings suffering. It brings ridicule. So what? Is this about getting better? Is this about being comfortable? 
Is this about getting what I want, being who you want me to be? Or is this about being real and getting better according to a greater standard? Man, this is gonna come off as cliche. I told you a couple of videos ago that in order to get anywhere, you're gonna have to have a why. At least a real, one real why that motivates you. Something outside of yourself that makes you want to be better, gives you reason for doing it. Well, same thing with the where. I can't even know where I'm going. You can't even know where you're going unless you know where you're starting. There's your cliche. I warned you. I warned you. But uh, for real though, in order for you to go anywhere, you got to have a, 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 a sense of where you're starting. And in order to do that, you've got to be honest. You've got to own it. And there's no easy way. At least a couple of other things. I've mentioned it earlier. Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming situations. Stop looking for a way out and trying to make yourself comfortable. Yeah, as Christians, we walk into our church buildings, we walk into our gatherings, people ask us how we're doing, and we always say, doing good, doing good, brother, sister, I'm all right. Most of us, all of us, not even most, all of us are battling in some way. Some of us are having a really difficult time. Some of us are grieving. Some of us are struggling in a lot of different ways. And we come in and we put on the front and we say, I'm good. Another one, stop letting other people project their fears onto you. Just because they wouldn't do it. Just because they wouldn't dare. Just because it scares them. Doesn't mean that has to be you. If you're letting somebody else in, like it's gonna help, it's accountability. It's letting somebody else know, this is where I struggle. This is where I fail. I need you to help me. Everybody's got at least a few people in their lives, hopefully, Find somebody, there's people out there. Find somebody to help you be accountable and own that. And don't let others project, once again, that fear onto you. A bonus of weakness and failure is that it's your opportunity. These are your chances, these are your moments. For me, as a believer, as a Christian, I found out that my weaknesses are there for lots of reasons. One of those re reasons is so that God can get the glory. God can show the strength and give me the strength. Where I am weak, then I'm strong because of him. These are opportunities for me to show, for him to show, for me to show him. <laughs> Sound like a nursery rhyme for a second, but it is. It's an opportunity for you to overcome, for you to get better. They're always an opportunity. And maybe this one's next. There's always a reason to be thankful even for your weaknesses, even for your failures. Anyway, man, I got to get to shoveling some snow. This is Zach once again with Quest for Greatness. I hope these things are helping you. Keep following along. Subscribe if you like. Like the video if it helped you at all. Leave some comments. Ask some questions. Let's be on this journey together. Reporting to you from snow-covered Western North Kakalaki. This is Zach. I'm out. Have a good one.